Hey guys, this is Gerald back once again. We got Ted back once again, the tax lien tax deed expert. So I got a couple of questions. And um, so Ted, after watching and listening to these videos, I have a few questions for my, for my viewers. And these are people that go ahead and they reach out, they contact me. Is it possible to get started with a few hundred dollars? Well, yeah, you could start with less than a thousand dollars if you want to, because you know, sometimes there's just a little lot uh, that has a tax lien that isn't paid. So you can start there. But here's a challenge without doing it without any money. If you got a tax lien and you bought it for 200 bucks and it made 20 percent, I mean, how much did you make? So you can start small. So I tell people, try to get, uh, if nothing else, work with your friends a little bit and try to get some money together. Now, don't go do deals with your friends and say, I'm going to split it with you. Say, look, at the bank, you'd make you'd make uh, maybe uh, one percent, I'll give you a 20 percent return. So then they give you 10,000 bucks, you give them a nice return. So you want to try to get a little money ahead of time. It's one of the things we teach in a class, try to get a little bit money ahead. But you can do this business, this tax lien for 200 bucks, <clears throat> but you're not going to make very much on it. That's the challenge. Right, right, yeah. right. So after listening to you, I really understand tax liens a little bit better. Um, it seems like anyone could go ahead and do it. What are some of the pitfalls or what are some of the challenges with regards to tax lien and tax deed investing? Okay, that's a good question. I'm glad you asked that. Um, all right, folks, here's, um, here's what this is. This is a real business. So you're going to have to act like it's a real business. And you don't want to go out and buy something. Now, see, I get people that go to the auction and I see them there doing it. And every time a number comes up, they just start bidding. Well, you don't want to do that. You certainly, if you're a woman, you would never marry the guy without looking at him. All right, so don't be thinking about buying a property without looking at him. So you could go to some of these auctions. So, so let me just, one that comes to the top of my head is, is Miami-Dade. So if they were selling tax liens, they've got 65,000 of them to sell. Uh, you're not gonna try and buy if you want to buy, buy, look up the number and buy in a certain neighborhood that you like. In other words, do a little research, a little due diligence, as they say, and know what the heck you're buying. Well, obviously, you're going to buy a property. I've seen people buy properties that were falling down. I've seen people buy properties that were burned out. I see people doing all these mistakes, which is, now you say you'd never do that, but I'm going to tell you, you get an auction, you get all excited. Oh, I want that one. I want that one. Now, sometimes, this is a big mistake now, sometimes the counties will actually show you pictures. But folks, you know about the, how those pictures could be changed and modified. You also know what if the picture's five years ago, what's it look like now? So you need to look, so the biggest mistake is you need to look at the property. Now, let me give you another one. This is a big one, this is an even bigger one. This one is when you go to an auction, is that there's an atmosphere there. People are spending money, it's exciting. And you know, you're gonna get a deal. And what people sometimes will do is that a guy on the other side of the room and he's got a red shirt on, and you've got a blue shirt on, and I'm gonna beat the guy in the red shirt. Oh, you don't wanna beat anybody at the auction. You want to be the low bidder. You don't keep bidding just to win. You're not trying to win the auction. You're trying to get a price, uh, a right price on the property. So I tell my clients, write it on your sleeve. Now, there's going to be days, oh, you want that property so bad. You're not going to get it. So if you called me after you've been in auctions, oh, Ted, these guys outbid me. Oh, blah, blah, blah. Hold on. Let them outbid you. They won't be at the next auction, I'll guarantee. Because how are they going to sell it? If you spend too much money, you can't sell it. So you don't, now here's the words you want to write down. Don't buy a property unless you know your exit strategy. See, we're professionals. We're looking at this thing and saying, it's a $100,000 property. We're going to buy it for 20 or 30 cents on the dollar, but we're going to sell it for 70. Screw that market. Screw all those guys. They're all trying to get top dollar. The hell with that. Sell it for 70. Sell it for 65. Sell yeah. it for 50. What yeah. do you care? Give it to a wholesale. Don't do any work. Make a check. We're in the business of buy low, sell low. Now, where did I get that from? I'm not the smartest guy in the world. But you know, I go to Walmart. I go to Target. I go to Costco. What do they do? They buy the stuff right. You buy it low. They sell it with a little markup. Go try and get in the parking lot on Saturday. You can't get in the damn thing, right? Why? You're buying low and selling. So why not use the strategies of the pros? So I don't buy anything that I haven't seen. Don't you either. And don't buy anything that you don't know what you're going to sell it for. So let's say it's a $100,000 property. And you can get it for 20 or 30 cents. Maybe you're going to get it for 10 cents. I don't know. But you don't have to get top dollar. There's going to be plenty of auctions. This year, there'll be 5,000 auctions. Think of that. 
Find that. You can sit on your rusty dusty and go to the auction. You don't have to get off your rusty dusty. Just sit there and you can know what's going on. So my point is the education is being, I'm in the education business, so that's, that sounds self-serving. But I'm going to tell you, when I bought a property and I paid too much, what are you going to do with it? You're going to have to pay the heat. You're going to have to pay the landscaper. You're going to have to pay the fix up. You're going to have to pay the insurance. You want me to go on for a lot? I can go on all day because I've done it. You know, I paid too much. Listen, the most learning I ever got was the deals I screwed up. And when you screw them up, you never forget. So number one, don't buy anything you haven't seen. What if there's a chicken farm next door? What if there's a pig farm? Nobody's going to buy that property from you. It's no damn good. So you got to know what you're buying. All right. Now, is every auction going to be good? Listen, the county's going to get rid of all their junk. But you know what? All the little guys are going to buy that junk. They're going to buy that because they think they got a good deal and they're going to fix it up. You can't fix up junk. Junk is junk. So buy a good quality property. Maybe it's a little abused. Maybe it's a little used. So what? Paint, clean it up, get rid of it. Or better yet, just get rid of it and let one of those wholesale guys do all that work. You want to be in the business of get a nice white collar on, get checks. I just pe teach people to get checks, whether they buy tax liens from the county to get a check or they buy these properties. I'm only interested in selling. I'm not interested in a big inventory. I used to have $200 million with the property. I know what that is. 232 employees later, I said, forget that. You can do this business, you and your wife, or you and your son, whatever you want to do, you can do this business from home, sitting on your rusty dusty. Yes. A little long answer. Sorry about that. So, Ted, I'm an investor, and I have a ton of investors yeah. who are following me right now. And so yeah. this is the thing. Question I have is this. Um, none really want to go ahead and be messing with small deals. So can they really make twenty-five, fifty thousand dollars a deal? Can they do, can they even do that online? I'm going to show you videos of people doing it online. If you come to my uh, all day six hour class, I'll show you video after video after video of real people doing that. And if they have got money, and they've got other people that want to do it, they want to be in the investment business. See, I'm in the investment business. I never talk about fixer upper. Let me tell you, so you're going to be surprised because I tell people. Don't fix up the property. They look at me and say, what? Are you crazy? It's American way. You're supposed to paint it, clean it, put a little fence around it, make a fortune. Every late night television says the same thing. Now here's a guy saying the opposite. I want to buy it low and I want to sell it low. Everybody else says, buy it low and sell it high. Guess what? You're going to go broke doing that. Buy it low, sell it low, let those guys do all that work. Go to another one. There's plenty of auctions. 5,000 this year. If you don't get a property, call me up. I'll listen to you. You can cry on my shoulder. I'll put a big pad here and you can cry there. But you're going to make money. You only want to make money. You don't want to be the top bidder at any auction. So, what is, in terms of tax lien investing, what is the, do more men do it? Do more women do it in terms of investing in tax liens, tax, de tax deeds? What's the percentage there when it comes to that breakdown? Okay. Uh, my client base is pretty much split. 64% uh, of, of females, and the rest are, are males. And the reason that they have a big female audience is we teach them going in. We want you to do business using your laptop. We want you to dress in nice clothes. We want you to stay in a nice car. We don't want to see you with broken fingernails, paint in your hair, drawn out, trying to get done, working every damn weekend, trying to fix properties, can't go to weddings, can't go to funerals, can't do anything because you've got to be there fixing that property. So that is laborious work. And it's not cheap anymore. I don't care if you do it yourself. You run your Home Depot bill up to $20,000 a month, then you're sweating that out. Uh, you don't want to do that. You want to buy so that you can sell and someone else is going to make the big money. You want to buy so that you can make a 25 grand profit. That's what you're looking for. Or you want to buy so that you can sell and be the person that carries back the paper. In other words, do installment sales. So we don't teach it like everybody else. And that's why it works. And we're 30 years of doing it. And there's a reason for that. Ted, you've, you, 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 you've touched on it multiple times. Can you go ahead and tell me about wholesaling and tax liens, wholesaling and tax liens? How beautiful of a business, how much of a compliment are those two? Or, or, or even wholesaling and tax, however you see it, expound on that. Okay. 
Okay, because our, our philosophy is buy it low and sell it low, what we're going to do immediately is, you see, every property has a tax value. All right, now is tax value always right? No, it's not. Sometimes the tax value is too high, sometimes too low. But I take advantage of the tax assessor. So in all of my ads, I will say in my ad, and I'll do it on Craigslist, I'll do it on the MLS system, I'll do it on, 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 on Facebook uh, uh, Marketplace, I will say tax assessed value 100,000, auction must sell for 70,000. You tell me what's gonna happen to that. That's gonna cause the wholesalers to call me, okay? I just wanna get rid of it. And then they say, well, how do we have to put the deal again? See, I might've bought it for 20 or 30 cents on the dollar. So I'm not trying to get, so I'm trying to get, I want those wholesale guys or those guys that want it. Now, do sometimes I sell a property and someone makes a lot more money than, than I do? Absolutely. What do I care? I just want to make 25 or 50 grand a property and move on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I love it. I love it. I love it. Ted, the investment business is really filled with a lot of hype. I have clients essentially that are grandmothers, grandfathers, could be older, working class people. Is it realistic that they can make $50,000 in a year? $50,000 should be your goal. You should be able to do that every year. I'm going to show you a couple of videos of people that made starting out, and they'll be recent. I'm not going to show you stuff from way in the past. I'll show you stuff recent where people are making 25 and more each property and doing three or four of them a year. All right. Now, are they out buying country club properties? No. They're buying bread and butter property. They're getting a good price. They're doing some minor work to just so they can get it wholesaled out. And then as soon as they get rid of it, if they want to get rid of it to a wholesale, that's great. But there's another whole market that opens up for you. If you're willing to put 10 grand in a property and then have $30,000 of profit on your deal, lots of folks are going to buy that property just because you'll offer them financing. And if you'll give those people financing, you'll get your down payment back and then you'll get monthly payments for 10 years and you'll double your money because you're going to get all that financing money. There's 25% there's of the market does not qualify at the bank. The bank said no. Now, if you haven't been to the bank and got refused, you don't know how, uh, that's devastating. When the bank says no, go fry, we don't care about you. There's a lot of people out there in the marketplace that will buy from you. Now, did I say they had great credit? No, they don't. So what you do is you sell to them, but you don't give them the title. You keep the title. We call that a contract of sale. A little complex here for this call, but the point is we sell those properties and we get payments. If they don't pay, it's a simple eviction process. It's not a foreclosure that you have to go through an attorney and take two months. Love it. Okay, Ted, what is the biggest and best deal? Or actually, you know what? What's the deal that really stands out to you that comes to mind? Something that really stands out. Well, I like to talk about my clients, not myself, because you know, hell, if I can't make if I can't make a six figure income, I don't want to buy a lot of these deals. So when I buy a colonial, obviously, I, I figure, well, I'm going to have to put twenty five or fifty grand in it. Plus, I'm going to pay. Yeah, but now I'm working on big profits. You'll do the same thing after a while. But I have a guy that came to me and uh, he, he started out. I said, look, be very conservative. Just start out with a residential lot, which he did. So once he learned he can make 20,000 online, then he did his next year, he made 100,000. And I'm going to show you a video on his third deal right now. I'll show you the video. And this house turned out to be an $800,000 house, 800,000. But he bought it for 177. How many deals will you have to do in your life? I'll show you the pictures and I'll show you the guy. I went back to Riverside because it's a great place. I love Riverside for whatever reason. In May, I bought another property. It's, another, it's in Desert Hot Springs. It's uh, another five acre parcel. It's, it's yeah. awesome, yeah. It's, I, I bought this property for $177,000, five acres of land. I, on Zillow, they had it listed in, in 2011 for $798,000. There's this house, there's, there's a, another 900 square foot nanny mother-in-law house, there's outbuildings, it's a beautiful property. I had a realtor go look at it and he said, yeah, it's, it's in, like from the exterior, it looks like it's in decent shape depending what the inside is. He said it could range for anywhere from you know 500 to 
800. I'll probably clear 100,000 US on that deal. I've never left my basement office ever. <laughs> All right. I'm not suggesting you guys are going to do that. As a matter of fact, I tell you not to do that until you have more experience. But I can show you tons of deals. Bread and butter for us is try to make 25 grand a property. Now, if you're buying stuff that's below that, I'm going to tell you to stop because you're going to work your butt off to make five or 10 grand. Screw that. Don't do it. I don't care what anybody tells you. Don't try to make five or 10 grand. A, listen, you can go through five or 10 grand and mistakes so fast. You don't want to do it. I'm talking from 60 years of real estate experience and 30 years in the tax lien and deed business. I started out buying apartments and I bought apartments up to 300 units. I ended up with $200 million of the property. And when the market changed, I got killed. The whole thing came down on top of me. It won't come down on top of you in this business because you're gonna buy it for 20 or 30 cents on the dollar. COVID doesn't matter. Market doesn't matter. You're buying properties right. If you can't buy them right, don't buy them. Don't buy them on speculation. If you can't see that you get it for 30 cents and you could sell it for 50 or 60 cents, don't buy it. It's as easy as that. You don't have any money invested, it's fine. So you went to an auction, spent some time. There's no rule out there that says you're gonna get rich. But I can tell you, if you wanna get wealthy, this is a marathon. There's always gonna be auctions. They've been around for 200 years. There's so many auctions you can't go to them. There's so many you can't even appreciate how many there are. Every state in the union has county auctions. There's 3,000 counties, 5,000 auctions. Gerald, I'm gonna show you something right now that's gonna absolutely shock you. Absolutely show you. Okay, so you can see how thick that is, right? Yeah. Wow. I see it says Los Angeles County Fair. Folks, let me explain this. You'll never have to work another day in your life. The, the insecurity is gone if you just follow in this man's footsteps. Now, we're going to talk about Los Angeles, California, where the starting bid is the back taxes, and they had over 3,000 properties, and that's the auction book that I mentioned earlier. Here's what happened. My name is Rene Goche from Surrey, B.C. In October, I went to Los Angeles County tax deed sale, bought five properties for roughly $85,000. They are vacant lots. One is in Malibu, four in downtown LA. Gorgeous properties. Their value, tax assessed value, is just over $1 million. I did this after taking Ted's course in under 90 days. Thanks, Ted. Just imagine Los Angeles, California, a million dollars worth of properties, and he only spent $85,000. That's eight and a half cents on the dollar. Folks, this is in your best interest. Once you learn this, you can do it for the rest of your life. But you know what you're thinking? I know what you're thinking. You're saying, how would I ever sell those properties? Well, use my Walmart strategy. What is that? It's buy low and sell low. So we had a million dollars worth of properties. Let's give an 80% discount and see what we have left. Well, we still have 200,000 left and he only spent $85,000. Look at the property made just one deal, one auction in Los Angeles, California. How about that? <laughs> Ted, once again, thank you, thank you, thank you so much, guys. Got Ted Thomas. Oh, my goodness. Thank you for all the nuggets, all the treats. Guys, November 6th, 11 a.m. Eastern. Please come and check it out, okay? Now, guys, you guys can go ahead and get properties. 10, 20, 30 cents on a dollar. Come check it out. See you all soon. Okay, right below me, that's a place to register. You got to register out there so we know you're going to be there. So good luck to all of you.